Alright guys, so we have the November Boxy Charm, and we got it literally a week ago, like, <laughs> the day I was having a minor eye procedure, so I am cleared to wear makeup tomorrow, I believe. I'm going to do the try-on portion probably, like, Friday, because I work overtime the next two days, but we figured we'd at least get the unboxing out of the way now. So what do we have? It's a pumpkin. Is a pump? Ooh, pumpkin turmeric. Two in one radiance polishing mask by Yensa Beauty. Yes, this two in one mask infused with eight orange skin loving ingredients to help nourish and polish your face for a hydrated, smooth, supple, and radiant complexion. The lightweight and exfoliating formula resurfaces skin in only five to ten minutes. Nice. Ooh. That's exciting. I'll use that. I love skin stuff. I know. All right, here is this is from Peach and Lily. This is a Power Calm Hydrating Gel Cleanser. Cleansing properly can be the difference between healthy skin and problem prone skin. This gentle, sulfate free cleanser contains no harmful ingredients and keeps your skin barrier intact so you don't. So you can start your routine right with skin that feels deeply cleansed, refreshed, and hydrated. This is really cute packaging, too. Like, I know it's really simple, but it's really cute. Our cats are wrestling underneath of us. Yeah, that's what all the jingling is. All right. Save that one for last. That's a, ch that's a chocolate bar you can have. <laughs> this is from Jessica Black. This is a liquid corrector 2.0. Meet the perfect under-eye brightener, which just disguises darkness and evens out skin tone. The lightweight form that creates a natural glowing finish. Thank God, because I can get rid of these bags that are under my eyes. They're designer. I want to just, like, pop it on my hand. Ooh! That's an interesting applicator. It's like a lip gloss. And it's peach. Which I was not expecting, but that makes sense if it's a brightening formula. It feels really nice. It is really pink. It's really pink. Wow. I don't know if that's picking oh, up on you camera. Tilt it back. Yeah. Yeah, it picks it up. That's going to match the rest of my skin then, because I'm pretty pink. All right. So, Kush Waterproof Mascara. Oh, my God. I've been wanting to try this forever. This is from Milk Makeup. It's Kush Waterproof Mascara, a waterproof intense black mascara with... Thickening heart-shaped fibers and conditioning hemp-derived cannabis seed oil. I mean, <laughs> I love your face. You're like, what? <laughs> what? I want to see this component, but I can't what? get it open. There we go. That's heavy duty. That is a big mascara. That is a uh, large size. Like it's it's metal. Feel that. Feel that. <laughs> like that's heavy. Yeah, you could, you could, it doubles as a, uh, it doubles as a self-defense tool. I can't get it open. <laughs> Ugh. Wow. That's a big brush. <laughs> like, that's a really big brush. My we phone is loving it. We like big brushes and we cannot lie. I'm really excited to try this. I've never tried this mascara, but I've been wanting to because... I watch a lot of other influencers that use it, and I'm intrigued. All right, so this is the palette. It's a simple five. Oh, wow. It's Natasha Denona, Denona. Denona Peak Palette, a five-pan palette featuring Natasha's essential everyday warm tone eye pigments that she mixes and matches from her favorite palettes, all reorganized and wrapped into one. Composed of both creamy matte and metallic formulas from the cult classic Biba safari and sunrise eyeshadow palettes eyeshadow palettes you'll find yourself reaching for this all season long this is really pretty i've never tried her shadows Ooh. well it also came with this this is 25 percent off natasha denona off of her website you just have to put in the code and sell a kidney because i can't afford her stuff Oh, it's that, is it that pricey? Yeah, it's it's pretty pricey. Mm. Maybe, if you're, These good, feel maybe really... if you're a good girl, Santa, we'll bring you some. <laughs> These are really, really pretty. I swatched them on my hands. Yeah, they look they look nice. They look very... I think I missed a shimmer. Maybe not. They look very neutral. They, they do look very neutral, which is not 
a vibe I typically go for. But they look nice. They don't look boring. They're pretty. Usually with like neutrals or nudes, they look kind of boring. But those don't look boring. Those look nice. They do look nice. So, what's your favorite part of the box? I'm really, 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 really excited for that mascara. I'm obviously really excited for the skincare products as well. I am really nervous about this under eye corrector because it is so pink and I am really, really fair. So I don't know how that's going to work out. I'm very unfair. <laughs> I am super, super excited to beat somebody in the head with this. You could probably concuss someone with that. I know. This thing is... It's this, solid. It's about if... Uh, to give it to give it like a weight and feel. It's like... if you ever seen the mini mag lights? That's like... That's about the size of this. And the weight of it. And the feel... And the feel of it is like a little mini mag light. Working in... Working in law enforcement. I, I wonder if it's going to be hard to use because of that. Because it is so heavy. Oh. You know, like... Sometimes when you put mascara on, you bump your nose or you bump like your... You're going to break your nose if you hit you your nose with that. Like you, you hit like around your eye with the wand because it's just... It's early and you're trying to put mascara on. I <laughs> I don't. I'm a professional beauty guru well, on some, YouTube. Sometimes people aren't so professional and it gets a little messy. And I, I wonder if that's going to be a problem with that since I'm not used to like such a heavy duty product in my hand and like the just holding the wand is like really heavy so we'll see you can use it to home workout yeah i could do some curls with it while i'm doing my makeup <laughs> so but there's uh all the stuff from the box and i'm excited to try everything out i'm probably going to use the face mask and the cleanser before i do the actual makeup review just because why not mm -hmm. do a move Use the cleanser at least a few times. You're not supposed to use masks very often during the week. But I am going to not be here anymore. So enjoy doing your makeup. Enjoy watching her do, do your makeup. Bye. See ya. All right. So it's it's been a few days. Um, I did use pretty much all of the products. I did use all of the products. I used the face wash pretty much every day and night since I got it. It's nice. It's a gel cleanser. It didn't leave me feeling like I had residue. Um, I feel like I would probably need to use uh, an eyeshadow, not an eyeshadow, an eye makeup remover prior to using the gel just because I don't excessively want to like rub my eyes right now. I did just have a corneal debridement and you're not supposed to rub your eyes a whole lot. So I was probably a little too timid trying to take off my eye makeup. It didn't all come off obviously. So I did remove that afterwards, but I felt like you know, my skin didn't feel tight or weird afterwards. I didn't feel residue-y, like I said. So really happy with that. Um, the mask is amazing. And on the bottle, I think it said you can use it, you know, multiple times a week. So I've only used it, I think, I think I only used it once. I was intending to use it again, like Friday night, but it didn't happen. I was too tired and I work Saturdays too. I work six days a week. So I didn't use it again, but my skin felt so amazing afterwards. I didn't have burning, nothing. It was a little like of a warming sensation, but nothing that I was concerned about the ingredients that were on my skin. And my skin felt so amazing afterwards. My products, my night products went on really, really well. They absorbed very quickly. I just felt like there was, you know, it took off very gently that layer of dead skin that was probably sitting there. Because I don't usually use, um, I usually use chemical exfoliants. I don't typically use anything that has any grains in it because I don't want to make little micro tears in my skin. But like, oh my God, it was amazing. I think we looked at the price and it was like 40 something for the mask. So I'm going to hoard that as long as possible and just use a teeny tiny amount. I really, really love it. Um, it's going to hurt my wallet when I want to repurchase that. But I was very, very, very happy with it. So I've already primed my eyes with the Pretty Vulgar Primer, and I'm going to use the Natasha Denona Shadows. I did use this yesterday when I was getting ready for work, and they lasted very well. I felt like they blended really well. It's, you know, a really basic fall-looking palette, which I have a million of, so I was kind of bummed about that. I would have loved to have eyeshadows in brighter colors, 
just because I'm probably not going to repurchase any Natasha Denona items right now because they are so expensive and I am trying to pay off student loans and uh, be responsible so I can't really be dropping like a lot of money on eyeshadow. And I have so many palettes anyways so it doesn't really make sense like I don't need it just because of the name. You know I have eyeshadow palettes that are much more affordable that have great formulation. But I was really excited to use this. Um, I think what I did yesterday was this on the lid. I used that kind of in my lash line over my eyeliner just to like smoke it out. I used this color to blend. I did like kind of a spotlight halo eye with this shimmer here and then I used the lightest shimmer as like a brow bone highlighter. So I'm probably going to do something like that again. I am going to do it off camera just to kind of save time because I have a, a video to film with my friend later doing an album review. If you're interested in music reviews and horror movie reviews, please check out his channel. He is the horror show host, Brian Gatto, and I love him very much and he's awesome. So I'm going to quick throw this look on. I really haven't worn eyeshadow or eye makeup except for yesterday since like the beginning of November. I think it's like the 21st or 22nd today. Because of the corneal debridement, you don't want to like really touch your eyes and uh, mess with them. So obviously like why would you do makeup on one eye? But regardless, also a big shout out to my amazing friend. You know who you are. I don't know if you want me to like throw your name out here, but I had the corneal debridement on the 4th and my husband was able to take me and stay with me that day and then she so kindly offered to come over and babysit me just to make sure things you know any complications didn't pop up and I was okay and if I needed something I could get it because I couldn't open my eyes for probably like two and a half three days just because it was very very painful and I was very light sensitive because with the corneal debridement they do remove that top layer and it it's not fun at all and it's the only time I've ever had to take like actual pain medication for eye pain so thank you so much girl I love you and I appreciate you more than you will ever know I love you so much but I'm gonna get to that eyeshadow and I'll see you back in just one second all right, I just wanted to pop in here and I did use this color on my lid and I'm currently blending out with this one here. So this one is the one I blended out. This one is the one that I just laid down. I just wanted to show like how easy these colors are to blend out and expensive, just so expensive. So we'll just blend her out there. Like, come on, why? Why do you have to be so good and so expensive? It's so pretty. I really want to know what the other shadows are like. Like the other colors, the formulation so far in this palette at least, like the mattes are beautiful. The shimmers are stunning. The shimmers I've noticed, like you just really do have to put those on with your finger because I was having no luck with a brush and then just getting irritated that I was dirtying a brush and getting it full of like little glitter particles that I'm never gonna get out. But that's with like any shimmer I feel like. I've never really met a shimmer that I can put on with a brush successfully and have it be as beautiful and stunning, you know. The one thing I have noticed, if you don't tap your brush off, you're gonna get a lot of fallout here. So I'm just gonna whisk that away. I don't feel like I had a lot of fallout throughout the day with the shimmer shades, which is really nice because I don't, I don't want that for me, but I'm going to just finish up the eye look here and then I will be back for the mascara. All right. So I did prime my eyes with this voluminous mascara primer. I did wear the mascara yesterday without any primer just to see how it would go. Um, I noticed I had some transfer like right under here and I'm not sure if that's because I used um, the essence on the bottom and maybe it transferred from that 
or if it actually is from this. So I'm going to put this on the bottom as well, see how it goes. But I wanted to see how it would work, you know, over the, the mascara primer that I use like every day. So put that on. This formula is amazing. It wore really well yesterday. I'm still not sure what that transfer was from, but it separated, it lifted, it held, you know, a little curl in my eyelashes, which I was really psyched about. Um, yeah, just really nice formula. Doesn't get weird. It's not overly wet or overly dry, which is nice. I'm not going to wear fake eyelashes today just to, you know, see how it really works with the primer. So that's one eye down and I'm very happy about that and do the other eye quick here so I can use the eye brightening stuff which I did use yesterday as well and I felt like when I first swatched it on my hand during the unboxing I was very concerned over the color because it was quite a deal darker than my skin and if you're using something to correct your under eyes or anywhere you don't really want there to be like a stripe you know what I mean so there is the mascara I'm probably gonna do another coat after that dries just like not yet so use that peach corrector I don't really have like excessively dark circles under my eyes I have some glitter transfer I put the shimmer in the inner corners there so there's a little bit of transfer this feels like putting a lip gloss on I think that's way too much I'm just gonna share the wealth between two eyes here so how I done it yesterday was just kind of pat it out and it is a really neat texture it's not like very heavy it kind of does feel like a gloss but it seems like it dried down pretty well and it does feel like, I don't know if it's intended to feel moisturizing, but it definitely did. So I don't know if that's reading on camera, but it is kind of too deep for me, which is fine. I feel like I can manage my lack of sleep with uh, my concealer alone, typically. But this is a nice tool to have in my arsenal. So yeah, just patted it out. It's kind of sticky which is okay. So then I'm hoping, you know, maybe that stickiness is what grips the concealer to it because I don't know that this is meant for like a wear alone kind of deal. There's glitter everywhere. Concealer I've been using is by e.l.f. I don't know what shade it is, but it's very light. And this stuff is like a dabble do ya. That's like literally all you need. And I'm just gonna take some of that put it on the other side like this really like blends out to cover everything all my lack of sleep because sometimes you know you're just stressed and you intend on going to bed at a decent time and then you lay there and think about everything that awkward thing you did in third grade at least that's what I do but yeah it, it covers for sure very nicely so I don't see any of that pink peeking through other than like the pink of my skin which I'm going to take care of that now I'm gonna do my face makeup my eyebrows and another coat of that mascara and I will be back in just a second okay so face finished I used that dark brown shadow look wrong way right here just underneath my lower lash line just to smoke it out a little bit incorporate all the colors in here I did use this lightest color as my highlight as my under eyebrow my brow bone highlight I used it in my inner corner as well um I tried to use this on my lower lashes the brush is just way too big like there's no using this successfully for me on my lower lashes they are pretty uh clumped up and spidery looking which is not the vibe i was going for but it's it's what we have i'll make it work um on my lips i used a wet and wild 
I think it's the liquid cat suit. I, your guess is as good as mine as to what color this is. It's like a very deep burgundy in the tube, but then it comes out a little bit more like a brown tone to it, like a warmer burgundy, which I love. Um, yeah, I used everything. I'm going to wear it the rest of the day. Uh, record my video with my friend, do some house stuff, laundry, dishes, cooking, cleaning, all that fun stuff. But here's a look and I'll catch up in just a little bit. All right. So it is many, many hours later. I thought I was going to get dressed today, but that was a lie. Um, I'm still in my pajamas, which is fine. Cause like literally watched a few episodes of supernatural, uh, cleaned the house, did laundry, changed the cat litter. Like I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I don't need to look glamorous other than I'm wearing like a full face of makeup and pajamas, but whatever I'm living my life. So I was wearing my glasses for a good majority of today so I could see my phone and like sometimes when you're cleaning you just want to make sure you're getting everything. So I'm sure it looks like horrible with the glasses marks but the only thing I touched up was the lipstick. Um, the eyeshadow held up really nice. I do see there's some flaking of the mascara but honestly it's not bad and I don't see that transfer that I had under my eyes yesterday and I was crying because this is the new season and the last season of Supernatural so like all of the feels I'm a sensitive lady and I am very attached to those characters so I cried I'm gonna cry a whole lot more I feel like as the series ends do you guys watch Supernatural let me know your thoughts um, Got a bit of the butthole lip going on with this lip stuff, but that's fine. So, my thoughts. Um, under eye corrector, I did. it's fine, I guess. I don't really intend on repurchasing that because I don't feel like I really have a use for it. And it's just another step in makeup that I could do without. Uh, the face mask, as I said, like, really hesitantly, I'm probably going to have to repurchase that. Very expensive, but very, very, very good face wash could take it or leave it but I really did like the formula I like the way my skin felt afterwards I'm just eh. it's it's very rare that face washes really stand out to me because I do so many steps to remove my makeup regardless so um the eyeshadow palette it's really pretty the formula is really nice I don't think it's really worth the money for me at this point because I, like I said, I have so many other palettes. The color's really pretty. I'm really happy with how the shimmer wore. So that's exciting. I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it. I think I covered everything, but I thought the, you know, I, I was pretty happy with what I got in my boxy charm for this month and I'm glad that I finally got to use it after my eyeball is all nice and healed up. But what did you guys get in your boxy charm? Did we get any of the same staple things? Did you get, oh my gosh, the mascara. That's right, the mascara was good. I like the mascara a lot, just not for the lower lash line because it's too big, it's too darn big. I could always use it on a brush, I suppose, but that's like a lot of work. I'd rather just use another mascara. Gives me an excuse to try other mascaras, I suppose. Um, did you get any things I didn't get in my box? Let me know. Have you tried other very expensive high-end eyeshadows? What are your thoughts? Do you really feel like it's worth the money and the hype? Um, what other milk makeup products have you used? And what are your thoughts? What do you recommend? I heard, you know, there's a bunch of different primers. I've tried the Hydro Grip Primer and I really liked that. So... Anyways, I hope you all are having a wonderful November and have a happy Thanksgiving if you're here in the States. And if you're not, just enjoy that wonderful Thursday. And I uh, will see you guys later. Um, like the video if you did like the video, or you could like the video if um, you also have traumatic eye things and you like Supernatural. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator, and I love you guys so much. See you later. Bye. I just filmed that entire outro and then took my uh, thumbnails and realized I had a huge chunk of asparagus between my teeth.
You know, it is what it is.